Hello and welcome to the Mexop demonstration series where you can see live demonstrations for real users and real world applications. For more information about our products or to schedule your own live demonstration, just give us a call or visit us at www.mexop.com. Without further delay, we invite you to sit back and enjoy the demonstration. Nest and Art. Now we'll be focusing on the milling module today and maybe the nesting okay. module if needed. So when you select mill, you'll notice that the machining interface shows directly in Rhino. So you have your machining browser over here and then on the lower half you have the machining objects browser. So you can you know, preload your tool libraries, you can also load the default libraries, you can also build tools and save them to a library. So RhinoCam offers you a variety of different tool types starting with ball and mills, flat and mills, corner radius, tools for engraving, chamfer, taper, thread mill, face mill. It could also create dovetail tools, lollipop cutters, form tools, uh, user-defined tools. We call them as form tools. And also you have the drill center, so, drill, reamer, tack bore, and reverse bore. User-defined ones, do, can you program your own DXF in there or how does that work? Absolutely. Uh, you could actually import one of your tools or if you want to draw something up in here, you can use the uh, tools that you have in Rhinoceros. For example, I could start by creating a user-defined tool by just modeling my cutter profile in here. Perfect. And, yeah. um, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and scale this a little bit. and I can modify all of these tool profile in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a tool. Now I'm gonna basically just join them together. Now once I have this drawn in here, I, I just gotta select it and then go into the tool definition, select user defined mill, and then click load selected profile and my tool is defined. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So you could use these for like engraving or profile cutting operations. So like create the form uh, on the you know part that you want to accomplish. So that's how yeah. you can define user defined tool. You can also specify your holder properties in here, the holder diameter, holder length, and once you establish, also you can establish your feeds and speeds based on the material type that you're working with, and save them up to the list of tools, and you can add it to your library. So you can create your own library, you can build your library based on a type of um, you know, machine tools you have or if you have based on a type of projects you're working on for you know, different types of woodworking applications or metalworking so you can create new libraries in, and save them into RhinoCAD. Okay. 